Welcome to the video, it's Daryl again. I'm about 85, 80 or 85 kilometres north of Wellington. I'm heading towards Wellington. This area is known as Forest Lakes. There's a, a recreation area with some lakes there, and a forest I guess. Anyway, um, this bit here where those yellow markers are used to be a passing lane. It was a passing lane till fairly recently. I can't quite remember, but I think a couple of weeks ago it was a passing lane. On the right hand side here is a lay-by area, a, um, a rest area, where you can park your car for a while. Maybe you're a truck driver and you are only allowed to drive a certain number of hours, whatever. There's a little place you can park there. It's a little park. Onward, pretty soon we'll get up to the new expressway. This is the expressway where effectively you're on a motorway, it's a motorway all the way into Wellington. There are technical differences between expressways and motorways. Motorways you're not allowed to ride bicycles on, you have to maintain at least 70 kilometres per hour. Expressways have some different rules, you can't take your horse on an expressway. No, I don't know, can you? Don't take your horse on an expressway, they won't like it. I don't know, what am I trying to say? Don't take your bike. Don't take your bike on the expressway. You can take your bike on the expressway, but maybe don't because 100 km per hour traffic. I don't know. Do whatever you want. It's, it's, it's your freedom. You're not allowed to ride your bike on a motorway. That's the difference. Anyway, whatever. I've said words. We're up to the expressway. This is where the, the old road diverted off there to the uh, left-hand side. That's the way that everybody's driven to Wellington for a long time. This is uh, coming onto a new bridge. This is a bridge which goes over a stream and Taylor's Road. Taylor's Road tucks underneath and the stream is to the south of that. We're on to two lanes now. Now the road's split, spread out into two lanes. All the way to Wellington City, it's two or three lanes all the way into the city from now on. So you'll easily be able to pass much more safely. You've got barriers down the whole centre of the road all the way to Wellington CBD uh, because it's built in the style of a motorway or highway or expressway or dual carriageway. I'm leaving it right away. Why am I leaving it right away? I'm going to drive through Otaki, Otaki um, and I'm going to show you the um, off-ramp. So I'm taking the first off-ramp and it comes out at a stop here and I noticed that there's a person to the right you might not be able to see them because they're out of view there was a person uh, wearing orange uniform uh, just monitoring the traffic I guess they're watching what the traffic behavior is uh, looking for anything that seems wrong with the road design something like that I'm not quite sure what they're doing making sure that people follow the rules there he is he's sitting on a road cone uh, he's got one of those sort of classic boring roadside jobs. Um, if you go to the left, you've got the northern suburb of Otaki, I guess. If you go to the right, you're going into the shops and cafes area, into the proper part of um, Otaki town. Um, this is a new bridge. They built this. This bridge goes over the new expressway. The expressway is underneath here. They also rearranged the railway line to fit under as well. There's an on-ramp there to head north. And down here there's a pedestrian crossing uh, where pedestrians can cross the road if you're walking from those northern areas, northern housing area, down into the town. There's a place you can cross the road there. On the left hand side there's a motel and a petrol station, it's a very famous brand and the, um, this is your uh, like a kind of a convenience where you can, you're heading into Wellington, you're short on fuel, you can stop here um, by a tank of petrol or diesel or whatever and then further down there's another uh, petrol station on the other side of the road so um, what have I noticed like obviously far less traffic here than normally because all of the this used to be state highway one until yesterday um this had all of the traffic that went to wellington uh, going down there oh there's someone making a runner across the road um and there's a traffic another set of traffic lights here it's been here for a long time this is so pedestrians can cross this road safely because it was previously an extremely busy road and there's some people there and 
uh, yeah, there's just a lot of shops. There's a lot of outlet shops here. A lot of people um, uh, stop and park on these street car parks. There's the petrol station there. And um, there's the uh, outdoors and fishing shop there. Yeah, there's some cafes, supermarket, car parking. They have a weekend market, kind of like a, I don't know, yeah, miscellaneous market of sorts. Supermarket, electric car charger, just there. And uh, the reason why I drove through is to see what the traffic was like now that the new highway's there. You can see that effectively 80 or 90% of the traffic is on the highway. Um, there's relatively few. Um, oh yeah, for the, what did I do? I changed the zoom. I was trying to work out. Um, I just pressed the little button on my camera to try and change the zoom. Change through some different settings. Something weird happened. Yeah, too much zoom. Too much zoom. Normal amount. There we go. Back. Good. Um, yeah, so this was all quiet again, uh, so it's now a kind of a more quiet little town. There's another cafe just down here um, on the corner. There's actually a good coffee shop uh, further down the side road on the uh, uh, the right hand side just here. And there's concreting places on the uh, left hand side uh, where all the aggregates and gravels come from. And now we're about to cross the bridge. This is the old State Highway Run Bridge. This is pretty old. It looks like a kind of a 1970s or 1960s um, era bridge. Uh, this bridge has always been here as long as I can remember. It's always been a little bit too narrow um, for cyclists to ride across. The new highway is on the left hand side and it has a cycle lane separated with a, um, a guardrail. And now I'm going to turn and take the on-ramp back onto the expressway. I just drove through this way because I just wanted to see how these roads are connected. If you want to go to Pika Pika or some places, uh, Te Horo, then you take that turn off there and just go on the old State Highway 1. So the old State Highway 1 still runs all the way through in parallel. There was an off-ramp there for people coming from Wellington or Paraparamu or Wakanai. And up here there's a roundabout. And at the roundabout there is an um, on-ramp that gets you onto the motorway. Um, if you go down further down this road, you can go to some particular parts of Te Horo or Otaki Forks Gorge. There's a very nice forest walking area up there, whole Tararua State Forest, I guess. Let's say, there we go, Tararua Forest or something. Um, it was a bit, uh, it, there was a bit of rain, so the, the road sort of somewhat dry somewhat wet in patches got those little all those little dots at the side of the sidelines are the audible lines you have cycling see there is cycling capacity on the actual expressway even though they built a new cycle path to the side so if you want to just ride your bike slow and look at the countryside then then you can take the cycle path to the side of the expressway if you want like that that person there's um, uh, riding a road cycling racing bike they they want to ride on this new expressway while it's brand new and perfect uh, to see if they can uh, get their best ever time for whatever their, their normal journey is I guess that's, they're doing something like that there's some sculptures along here I think there's one coming up on the left hand side um, the interesting large things maybe you can't see it from this lane maybe I saw it from the other side uh, anyhow I'm driving at 90 kilometers per hour. I set my my um, cruise control for 100 on my car, but when my car says it's going 100, it's actually only going 90 kilometers or 91 kilometers per hour. So basically, I'm driving at 90 kilometers per hour. Interesting point is that vehicles in New Zealand towing trailers are only allowed to drive at 90 kilometers per hour, and the rest of the traffic is allowed to drive at 100. There are a few roads where you can drive at 110 in New Zealand. There are no such roads in the Wellington region. All of the roads that you can drive 110 on, I think they're in sort of Waikato and um, maybe Auckland, maybe some road around Auckland, but basically uh, Waikato to the, um, what's it called, Bay Plenty, Tauranga, there's a couple of uh, what do you call them, like uh, pay roads, toll roads, which have 110 as their speed limit. 
um, but this is definitely 100. All the roads in Wellington have 100 kilometers per hour as the maximum speed le limit. Um, so don't don't drive over 100. You'll get a ticket. Um, down here, I saw a boat which was being loaded on a trailer because no, a boat on a trailer being loaded on a truck. That was an unusual thing. I guess somebody was towing their boat and they had a problem with their trailer. Uh, also down here is a bridge. Did we pass the bridge already? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe we did. See, too much talk and not enough observation. Uh, yeah, there was a bridge going uh, left, right. Oh, you see, there's the boat on a, there's the boat on a trailer. Oh, we asked to pass the bridge already. Uh, it's this, I think it's called School Road Bridge. Um, it connects the two parts of Tohoro together. There's a lot of drainage channels. Uh, you can see the cycle lane on the left hand side here. There's uh, the whole, like you can ride your mountain bike or ride your horse on there. That's why I was talking about horses and bikes earlier. That's actually, um, a lot of people have horses around this area and you can ride the horses on that particular um, on that particular trail, uh, that's why it's a gravel, it's kind of got a gravel finish, I guess, crushed rock or something like that. This is the bridge that goes over the railway line, and also there's a tunnel that bikes can go through and pedestrians underneath this bridge here, under here, and um, that just allows local access into some farms and um, the, the cycle lanes. And uh, now the cycle lane is on the right side, and uh, that cycle lane follows, see where those speed signs are over there. There's a, a cycle path being built over there. I noticed that it had some fences around it, and I wonder if the cycle path isn't fully open, which kind of seems a shame because it felt like they finished that ages ago. On the left-hand side, you can see a wetland area. So um, they build a lot of wetland areas around all these new highways. So the water that drains off of roads goes through kind of naturalistic filtration to take sediments out of the uh, rainwater and, and contamination because you know roads will always have some uh, chemicals uh, from fuels etc tire worn tire powder um, anyway uh, yeah, the water's filtered before it re-enters the natural waterways. There's a lot of creeks because there's hills on the left-hand side, and so there's a lot of streams and creeks that come down from those hills, um, cross under this road. There's a lot of culvert pipes under, under the road. And we're nearly at the end of the road, so we're slowing down to 70 kilometers per hour, and this is just for this transition. This transition, it looks like it might need to be resealed. It's in perfectly good condition, but it's there's a couple of little bumps, so I think that uh, just because of the road here, it's a bit bumpy and scratchy. They didn't want people to be driving on that beautiful smooth road and then transition onto a rough part and uh, cause any hazard. There's an off-ramp there. That is the... Uh, I guess um, Pika Pika and Waikanae off ramp there. Yeah, see this bit's a bit rough here. The, the, there's just been a lot of, all the lanes have been moved all over the area, so the, the road surface is in bad condition. Back to 100 now because the road uh, surface conditions. That's that's the whole that's the whole part of the new expressway. There was a bird, did you see that bird that flew very quickly and then dodged my car? That was amazing. Um, anyway, and then uh, this is a bridge that allows people coming from Waikanae to go over and allows people who took that off ramp to go across to Tihoro or Pika Pika, get on the old the old uh, road there that runs parallel to the expressway. Yeah, I think that's enough. You've got it. We, we're, we're on our way to Waikanae now. The next off ramp is Waikanae, then Paraparamu, then uh, Pakakariki. And then uh, you've got Transmission Gully to go into Wellington City, or you can take the Pakakariki off ramp and go down the coast road. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. That's my video. Take care and have a good Christmas holiday and avoid those traffic jams. See you in another video.